So earlier this month, over 15 years of research brought the Shake Alert early warning system into the palms of our hands. The technology in our phones is now able to receive a Shake Alert notification. This means you could have a few seconds warning before an earthquake, which is definitely enough to save lives. Joining me now to talk about the advances and how to make sure you have this technology in our phones is our very own Glenn Farley. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad you're here. And before we get to the phone tutorial, that is great, by the way, let's talk about how the Shake Alert works. What's the technology? So the technology is this, and we've got the Pacific Northwest Seismic uh, Network uh, map here behind us, which shows all these earthquakes. So all of these seismometers are out there, and these are devices that are in the ground, and they will basically listen for the shaking, if you will. When they get shook, they will send a message to a central computer. So if this seismometer over here gets a lot of shaking, this one a little less, back here, not so much, that means that it can sort of triangulate between all those places mm. and say, okay, this is where the shaking is the worst, and this is how long it could take to get to another spot. In your case, that means where you are. There's actually two waves. There's a P wave that travels very fast and an S wave that travels not quite as fast. And basically, they look at the difference between those two waves in order to make the determination about how much time it will take the actual major shaking to get to you. I'm So this technology can, can predict the wave propagation and where I mean this is incredible we talked about how some areas could get up to a minute warning some less but would seconds really matter basically the the what they're asking you to do is drop cover and hold okay. so if you were sitting inside in your dining room classic case get under the dining room table so if something crashes down from the ceiling you've got that kind of protection over you um so that's probably the best example, but if you can think of anything that could get you into a more secure position. But it's not just about what you get on your phone in terms of, of, of a warning. It is also what is being used for infrastructure. Mm. So I think we've got some pictures here if we can call those back up. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at, and these are scenes from the Nisqually earthquake back in 2001, but for example, take a water utility. They have designed a technology that can actually start closing these giant three foot wide gates to stop water that could rush out of one of these tanks through a broken pipe. We wanna keep that water in reserve to make sure that we have it for drinking, and we have it for fighting fires. We don't know how long the damage is going to take before it can be fixed, before those facilities are online. Uh, this shake alert early warning system is used up and down the West Coast. So Oregon and California are already into it. Uh, this is still in development overall. They're still adding different things, mm -hmm. but take the BART rapid transit system in the Bay Area. That's been wired in from the early days of experimentation here, and that will slow down a train, even potentially stop a train if it detects shaking or where it detects that shaking. Because you don't want to derail, certainly. Um, right. And also, it's good, you mentioned before, for, for medical purposes you said that they get they don't get an alert on their phone they have a different system so if someone's in the middle of surgery they know so if you're that's one of the situations that they're looking at so if you have a surgeon who is operating on somebody obviously you don't want that knife into that person while they're shaking yeah. so basically this could give that surgeon warning to be able to pull out the knife to be able to prepare uh, to protect that person uh, on the operating table. Another example is one thing that they have found in past earthquakes at fire departments is that when the if the building shakes bad enough, it can jam the doors closed and they can't get the fire trucks yep. out. So this has already been wired in to where automatically, as soon as the firehouse system detects, oh, there's been an earth, there's earthquake shaking coming, the doors are automatically set to open. Therefore, the fire trucks can't be locked inside. We don't have much time left, but I want to show this detailed explanation you made for uh, people to set this up on their phones, right? 
Yeah, so it's on your phone now. The difference is, is you just really want to make sure nothing got turned off my mistake and you can get the alert. We have two phones here, an iPhone and an Android. For Washington State, there are no apps, but you can still get notification. Let's start with the iPhone. So this is how the phone is tied into the wireless emergency alert system, which is something that is put out by FEMA. So on the iPhone, we're gonna to go to settings. Then we're gonna go down here to notifications. It's in red. Hit that, scroll all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, there's government alerts, Amber alerts, emergency alerts, and public safety alerts. You wanna make sure that that emergency alert button is on and it'll show up as green. So let's switch from the Apple over to the Android that an awful lot of people use. So it's a similar setup. Go to settings, which looks like a gear. Go to apps and notifications, and then scroll all the way down to where it says advanced. And down there, you will find wireless emergency alerts, and you can tell what's turned on. For example, amber alerts, extreme threats, severe threats, and public safety messages. Glenn, that is so incredibly helpful to explain all that to us. Thank you for spending time with us today and, and explaining this. Well, if everybody's set up on there, now there is under the WAEA system, there may be some delay. They're finding there may be about a 15-second okay. delay on that, which is kind of a disadvantage. It's a problem that the uh, emergency management folks say they're working on. All right. Thank you so much, Glenn. We'll be checking back in with you soon. Absolutely. Talk to you later. Bye.